Live from Bedford Stuyvesant, the livest one, representing BK to the fullest, the notorious B.I.G. The only Christopher we acknowledge is Wallace. Raw deal. Puff came out and he grabbed my arm. Yo, hey, Gene, Gene, we gotta pray. We gotta pray. I say, pray for what? That nigga's dead. And walked out the hospital door. Raw deal. Rec told me not to say nothing, not to get at niggas, not to get myself involved in this bullshit because these internet cats just want to be synonymous with your name. You know, he giving me all the reasons not to have or address you, bro. But I'm going to address you because I don't know nothing about your platform. If your platform was getting at niggas that snitch and rat, and that's what you want to do, nigga, that's on you. That had nothing to do with me until you open your motherfucking mouth. Now, the man who raised me from Philly, Willie Drake Sr., back in Wellston, he once told me, they don't know you a fool until you open your mouth. And that's what you just did. You opened your motherfucking mouth. So if a brick hits you, say ouch, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because I was not even addressing you, but I'm address you now. You want to talk about honor? Nigga, how you going to honor a nigga who won? Tell a nigga his best friend and, 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 and talk to him and, and, and say that he wishes death on him. But you going to honor him. Puff said, yo, if Big got to die, Pop gotta die. I don't give a fuck if Suge Knight go to jail. I ain't gonna live my life like this. But you honor that nigga. You honor that nigga that he said to his best friend, supposed to be best friend, my man, Wolf. Tell his mother two weeks after he died that your son, all he wanna do smoke weed, get high. I don't owe him no $300,000. You know, he just wanted to party at delusions of grandeur. But you honor that shit. You honor that nigga that he, out of all his artists, that he did a, a dollar, a penny to a dollar on every last one of his motherfucking artists and them niggas ain't got a pot to piss in and a boot to pour it out. But you honor that shit. You honor the shit that this motherfucker took and found witness to go against Shine. You understand? To go against Shine, you understand? He found witnesses and had witnesses testify against Shine when they had the same exact motherfucking case. That's what you want to honor, brother. You go ahead and you honor that shit. And you trying to run a facade on people like Diddy wasn't all right with me. Let me tell you something, brother. He was my responsibility. Big was never my responsibility, but I tried to save that kid life. And for you to get over here and to say, yo, Big is dead because of me and all this other dumb shit, nigga, Puff ain't never had a motherfucking problem when I rolled with him. Nigga, in the 90s, we went everywhere, from Philly to motherfucker to California to Florida to motherfucking backwoods part of Mississippi with a bunch of porch monkey ass motherfuckers. I don't give a fuck. You understand? I roll with that nigga everywhere. He ain't never had a problem. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna say all the shit that I feel bad that I did to motherfuckers and did, you know, for this nigga. But let me tell you this, bro. Let me tell you, for you to let, let try to say to people like, like I was responsible for like letting Big die, that nigga, I did everything in my motherfucking power. I tried to ride on side of the car, walk up side, the, walk on side of the car, do everything. Nigga, I didn't run from the gunfire, I ran to the gunfire. I ran after the nigga. And for you to say this shit like it was my fault, nigga, you a suck ass nigga, do your motherfucking homework. Do your homework, man, before you get out of here and make a fool out yourself. Ain't nobody scared of you, bruh. Hey, yo, I don't know where you get that shit. Cause you go to jail, nigga, that don't make you tough. That make you caught. That don't make you tough, bruh, cause you go to jail. See, I had to look into what you was really doing. And I had to understand what was your makeup for coming at me like that. You understand? And it has something to do with, yo, you might want a podcast show with uh, Revolt. You may want um, Ciroc to sponsor your show or something like that. Or you might just want to get at Diddy and y'all do y'all fun boy shit. You understand? Because you had delusions of, of this prison life that you trying to glorify. Nigga, I was out here in the streets. You was walking the compounds with gangsters. Okay, I give you that one. You know, so you say. You was doing these paperwork parties with gangsters. I, so you say, nigga. But I was out here in the streets with real gangsters. Eating off the same motherfucking plate with real gangsters. 
doing shit you know, I had no business doing with real gangsters. You understand? Yo, my whole thing about, I ain't got to explain myself to you, bro. But let me just tell you this right here. If you want to clean up your house and that's your platform, getting that snitching niggas and everything like that, because you couldn't have got what I said about Alpo out of the situation. You couldn't have got that. Because I said, if Alpo was a gangster and he claimed that gangster life, if he ratted out on niggas, he snitched on niggas, he got to live with that. Nigga, I ain't got no feelings about that shit. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I got, I knew Rich, I knew Al, I knew a lot of niggas in the streets. But that shit ain't got nothing to do with me with their business. I let them handle their business. And when I said something about niggas wouldn't say nothing wrong, I was addressing what Rec had said to somebody who was on our platform. But let me just tell you something, bro. If that's your platform and that's what you do, and that's what you want to address to niggas, let me say this to you. There's a lot of good Philly niggas in jail. Cause a lot of Philly niggas put them in jail. All right, clean up your own motherfucking household. Fuck you. Yo, Wreck, stop this shit, man. Stop this shit, Wreck, so I could go to motherfucking church so I can get some amens in. Before I have to amen, man.